Let me tell you another story. A legend not many people know about, you might not even find it in the history books. Have you ever heard of the name Lindsay Janos? Don't be ashamed, there are very few people that have. But he might be the reason that Cluj still exists today. Imagine the year 1660. Not many images will come to mind, right? It was a very long time ago. During that time, Lince Janos was living here in Cluj. He was what we call now the mayor. He started working as a furrier going around all of Europe to learn the best techniques for the job. He became the leader of furriers, being voted for this position 16 times. He sure had his way with words. After coming to Cluj, he started representing the city at the big meetings of the country. Now back to the year 1660. That year, Pasha Said Ahmed stopped at the gates of Cluj. As soon as he was noticed, Lince Janos was in front of him, trying to save the city. Janos tried negotiating for the city to be spared, but he couldn't even say hello, because as soon as the Pasha saw him, his face turned red with anger and started screaming to his soldiers in Turkish. He ordered that the head of Janos be cut off. But another Pasha, from Hungary, got on his knees in front of Said Ahmed and begged for Janos to be spared. Said thought for a bit and made the decision to handcuff Janos and send him to skin the severed heads of the prisoners. I know, the story gets a bit graphic, but I assure you, it will have a happy ending. The next day, Said sent some soldiers with Janos back to Cluj and told him that all he wants is to see if everything is working well in the city. While walking through the woods back to the city, Janos saw Turkish troops hiding in the bushes carrying wooden beams to break the armored gates. When they arrived at the gates of the city, Janos started screaming at the guards to protect the entrance to the city unless they wanted everybody dead. One Turkish soldier understood what was happening and tried to force him to change his order. Nothing convinced him to do so. One last thing he said to the guards was, I'm going to die now. Don't leave the city. But here comes the twist. The Pasha actually appreciated his courage and allowed him to live, even brought him gifts. The Pasha left for a short time, but returned, this time asking for a huge ransom to leave the city at peace. The people of Cluj gathered all they could find, from expensive jewelry to food, the material sacrifice was enormous, but worth it, because the city was finally spared. The influence of Janos in Cluj went on for a long time, because one of his grandsons became the architect of the city. I think I begin to see a pattern here with the name, and I must say I'm delightfully pleased. One is a great architect, one is a savior, and one is, well, me, a great director. Why would I like to make a movie about Lince Janos? Well, because he deserves to be remembered. I'm sure the city would look very different if he hadn't fought for its freedom. Now, it's time for us to go to the next place. A bit of walking never harmed anyone. Okay, let's go!